Hello ladies and gentlemen, Big Daddy Top Hat here. With all of the Sonic the Hedgehog news and announcements as of this week, I felt today would be a perfect time to go back and look at one of my favourite characters from the Sonic the Hedgehog universe. Over the years, the Blue Blur has had many rivals in the games, with some of the most well-known being the forever angsty Edgy the Hedgy and the guardian of the Master Emerald, Knuckles the Echidna. But before both of these characters arrived on the scene, Sonic had a rival who was arguably even cooler and more intimidating. This of course was Metal Sonic, a character who would first pop up as a main antagonist in the legendary Sonic CD. A debut that would be made all the more interesting due to the fact that there was not a million different Sonic characters around back then. This meant that every new character arrival would be a significant one, and a new villain as that was designed to surpass Sonic with regards to all his key abilities would result in this new foe being as intimidating as the day come. So join me today as we take a little tour through Sega history as we go back and look at every single significant video game appearance that this menacing machine has made over the years and where he stands in the world of Sonic the Hedgehog as of now. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the terrifying story of Metal Sonic, Sonic's mechanically engineered rival. Yeah! The year is 1993, Sonic Mania, to excuse the pun, is running wild, brother, and the 16-bit console war is in full swing. After his maiden outing on the Sega Mega Drive, Sonic the Hedgehog had become a household name, which was built on even further with the release of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, a game where our hero would take on Dr. Robotnik again and even gain his iconic sidekick, Tails. The development process of Sonic 2 was different from that of the first game, as Sonic lead programmer Yuji Naka, along with several other Sonic team members, chose to move to the United States to make the game at the Sega Technical Institute, due to the fact that they were sick of Sega of Japan's rigid corporate policies. So while Naka would work in America on Sonic the Hedgehog 2, over in Japan they would work on an alternative sequel to the groundbreaking original game. Sonic CD was created under the leadership of Naoto Oshima, and would be a game for the emerging Sega Mega CD add-on that was created using the original Sonic the Hedgehog game's source code. The game would include a fully orchestrated CD audio soundtrack, sprite scaling effects and further new features not previously seen in the Sonic series. Perhaps the most memorable feature in the game of all though was the inclusion of two new characters created by the game's artist Yasushi Yamaguchi, Amy Rose and of course the subject of our video now, Metal Sonic. The game's basic story depicts Sonic once again trying to stop Dr. Robotnik from carrying out one of his evil plans, but is followed along the way by the besotted Amy Rose, a character who in the series is Sonic's self-proclaimed girlfriend. Robotnik's latest invention, Metal Sonic, manages to kidnap Amy, luring Sonic into greater danger, so Sonic's goal becomes to stop Robotnik, stop Metal Sonic and rescue Amy. But besides from all of this, who is Metal Sonic and what was the inspiration behind his creation? According to this game's artist, who we mentioned earlier, he states that from the beginning of the creation of the game, he wanted to create a new menacing rival for Sonic, and design would naturally just flow from such a concept. The character was designed to have an intimidating aura, which was why he was given glowing red eyes, and he was also given a jet engine embedded into his chest, so that he could not only match Sonic's speed, but even exceed it. These features, paired with his mechanical looking glossy reflective finish that was built around Sonic the Hedgehog's image himself, instantly made Metal Sonic feel like Sonic's greatest nemesis and challenge yet. Which I must say looks spiffing on the Sonic CD box art. Not to be confused with Mecha Sonic who had appeared in Sonic 2 previously, a robot created by Dr. Robotnik who had saw blade quills, rocket boosters and metallic spike ball versions of the spin attack, Metal Sonic was programmed by Robotnik in the game's story with the sole purpose of destroying Sonic, using abilities superior to his. Metal Sonic is obsessed with the conviction that he is better than Sonic in every way, which he assumes is logical since he possesses the best performance, a tireless body and plenty of other factors that should make him unbeatable. His obedience to Robotnik, mixed with his dominating traits of hatred and obsession with Sonic, make him as dangerous as they come for the franchise's hero. In his original appearance in Sonic CD, the rivalry between machinery and biomatter culminates with a race between the two in Stardust Speedway, with Sonic ultimately managing to defeat his metallic counterpart, saving Amy Rose in the process as the spoils of victory. 
but this would be far from the last we would see of him in the franchise. In fact, it would not be long whatsoever before he would return, as just one year later in 1994, Metal Sonic would appear in the 8-bit video game known as Sonic Triple Trouble. Rather than playing a major role in this game's story once again, this time around he would appear as a surprise stage boss. However, this time players must beat him in battle rather than defeating him in a race. Metal Sonic can fly and evade many of Sonic's attacks, making him a test for the Blue Hedgehog. Moving on to more new hardware, Metal Sonic's next appearance would occur in 1995 on the Sega 32X. Yet another Sega Mega Drive hardware add-on with Metal Sonic even showing up in the game's introductory sequence. In Knuckles Chaotix, the bizarre game that features strange tethering mechanics, Metal Sonic would appear as the game's penultimate boss, although this fight against him is far from traditional, as you can see. After Knuckles and co defeat Metal Sonic in this game, Dr. Robotnik carries him away, leading to the game's real final boss, a large demonic looking robot with a strong resemblance to that of Metal Sonic. This large red mechanical nightmare is even more menacing looking, featuring sharp metal teeth to further emphasise the terror of this thing. In fact, in the bad ending of the game after fighting this thing, it leads to witnessing it destroying the island. In 1995, Knuckles Chaotix would not mark Metal Sonic's only appearance, as he would also feature in Sonic Drift 2, the first game in history where players could actually play as Metal Sonic. This 8-bit kart racer allowed Metal Sonic to race once again. Continuing to spread his presence across different gaming genres, Metal Sonic would make his fighting game debut in 1996, with him appearing as Sonic Fighter's penultimate boss. This arcade exclusive not only marked the first time that Metal Sonic had been rendered using 3D polygon graphics, but this was the first time characters had been rendered in such a way for the Sonic Universe period in gaming. Next to Metal Sonic, he would make his debut on the next generation of console hardware, appearing on the Sega Saturn in 1997, who after being successfully beaten in a one-on-one -on -one race, could be added to the player's roster of unlockable characters in Sonic R. In the game, Metal Sonic is significantly faster than Sonic, but even tougher to steer though. He could also take advantage of his boosters to run across water, which regular Sonic cannot achieve. Moving another generation forward into the Dreamcast era of gaming in 1998, Metal Sonic would make a cameo appearance within the legendary Sonic Adventure, where he could be witnessed resting inside a stasis tube in one of Robotnik's hideouts, alongside Mecha Sonic who appeared way back in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. In 2001, the Sega Dreamcast would receive Sonic Adventure 2. He would appear as an unlockable playable character for the game's competitive multiplayer mode. But after the death of the Dreamcast, he would appear as a standard multiplayer character in the ports of the game to other hardware. Speaking of Metal Sonic in this game, his moves are not actually copies of Sonic's this time around, but instead Shadow the Hedgehog, meaning he could perform the Chaos Spear and Chaos Control. Speaking of conversions of the adventure games, in Sonic Adventure DX, Metal Sonic appears as an unlockable character in the game, but simply acts as an alternative skin for Sonic the Hedgehog, and looks very different to the Metal Sonic that can be seen within the stasis tube in the game we talked about before. Past the Sonic Adventure series with Sega now acting as a third party publisher, Metal Sonic's next appearance would be in Sonic Heroes in 2003. However, this game may have marked his most significant involvement since the time he showed up in Sonic CD, way back in 1993. Ten years on from first showing up, for the first time ever the character would feature as a main main antagonist in the game, even above that of Dr. Robotnik. Basically, the game features a story of the robotic villain betraying the Doctor and going solo from his creator. In Sonic Heroes, he manages to dramatically increase his own power and gain shape-shifting abilities and all new transformations becoming Neo Metal Sonic. He uses this new form to disguise himself from Robotnik, allowing him to not only overthrow him but copy the data from every opponent he has ever faced, making him the most powerful he has ever been. But this isn't even Metal Sonic's final form, as within the game he manages to transform into his Metal Madness form, then later his ultimate form known as the Metal Overlord. His Metal Overlord form makes him change into a giant mechanical dragon like Android, which personally I find a tad strange, as in these forms he ends up looking so drastically different to Sonic the Hedgehog, it removes him completely from simply looking like a perfect metal rival for Sonic. 
It is all very overkill. In the game, he is eventually defeated by Team Supersonic, which basically sees the cast of Sonic characters going Super Saiyan to defeat Metal Sonic's final form. Why does the Sonic franchise just shamelessly rip off Dragon Ball Z all the time? It is bizarre, really. After Metal Sonic is defeated, and he has been reverted back to his original form, Robotnik manages to reobtain his creation, programming him and making him obedient once more. That same year, Metal Sonic would also show up in Sonic Pinball Party for the GBA, appearing as an opponent in this simple pinball-related game story mode, marking dual appearances for a mechanical hedgehog in that calendar year. 2006 would be a year that Metal Sonic would appear in Sonic Rivals for the PlayStation Portable, a 2.5D racing and platforming game with a graphical style similar to that of which is found in the Klonoa series. Now, as we know, for absolutely seemingly no reason, in the Sonic games in the West, eventually Robotnik started being referred to under his Japanese name of Dr. Eggman. In Sonic Rivals, it transpires that the main villain turns out to be Eggman Nega, Dr. Eggman's descendant who has travelled back in time from 200 years into the future. In the game, Metal Sonic serves Eggman Nega, but can also be unlocked as a playable character like with many other Sonic games by this point. Just one year later, in 2007, Metal Sonic would re-emerge once more in Sonic Rivals 2, once again on the PlayStation Portable with him this time being a playable character right from the start of the game. In this title that features similar gameplay, Metal Sonic would serve as Eggman's mindless servant, and now Eggman can even speak through Metal Sonic using a communicator. In the game, he teams up with Shadow the Hedgehog to stop Eggman Nega from releasing a destructive monster from another dimension. In the game, it unfolds that Eggman has hidden a Chaos Emerald inside Metal Sonic to give him extra power and hide it from Nega. In a twist, while Metal Sonic was originally designed to be Sonic's rival, in Rivals 2, Nega designs a new creation to function as Metal Sonic's rival known as Metal Sonic 3.0 which he dubs as a new and improved Metal Sonic. The android that features a black and yellow colour scheme manages to assist Eggman Neger in awakening the destructive monster known as Ifrit. But once Ifrit is defeated, Metal Sonic 3.0 is either trapped or destroyed in Ifrit's dimension. In 2007, after many years of wishing for such a thing, a Mario and Sonic crossover series would finally be launched. But sadly, these crossovers would be restricted to a ridiculous series known as Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. A series that would span many, many entries, ridiculously seeing Metal Sonic appear in various sporting competitions over the years. In 2008, Metal Sonic would make a cameo in Sega Superstars Tennis, as he stands on the sidelines watching a match on the Scrap Brain Zone court. Transitioning into another decade and reaching 2010, Metal Sonic would appear in Sonic 3 Riders, a motion-controlled racing game developed to run on the Xbox 360, taking advantage of the Kinect peripheral. In this one, Metal Sonic features as a playable character in the game's story mode, disguising himself as a different robot, teaming up with Shadow and Rouge to form Team Dark. His motives for this is so that he can copy his teammates' abilities. In this title's story, he eventually reveals himself, even double-crossing Eggman once again. He ends up challenging Sonic to a race once more to prove who is faster, but Sonic manages to defeat him once again, leading to Metal Sonic choosing to retreat. Speaking of racing games, Metal Sonic would feature in the kart racer known as Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing, along with the game's subsequent sequels, the franchise that would essentially become Sega's answer to Mario Kart. 2011 would see Metal Sonic in Sonic Generations, a game incorporating both 2D and 3D Sonic gameplay to commemorate the 20th anniversary of the franchise. In this one, he appears as the first rival boss in the game, sporting his classic design. Here he must compete against classic Sonic, where the two must race on Stardust Speedway once more, just like with Metal Sonic's debut 18 years before the release of this game. When Sonic fights Metal Sonic, he manages to defeat him, resulting in the robotic doppelganger creating a spectacular explosion. This character would also appear as a boss in the Nintendo 3DS version of the game. In 2012, Metal Sonic would show up as one of the main villains in Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. This episodic series of games was designed to imitate the playstyle of the classic Sonic games from the Sega Mega Drive, and in Episode 2, it shines more light on Metal Sonic's story relating to the classic era of gaming. The plot reveals the players that after Metal Sonic's defeat in Sonic CD, he would be severely damaged, so Robotnik would need to repair him. 
So set after Sonic CD, in Sonic 4 Episode 2, Metal Sonic wants his revenge for his humiliating defeat, and has potential to get what he wants due to having extra power generated through holding a Mystic Gemstone. He fights Sonic in the White Park Zone, then later once more in the Sky Fortress Zone, then again in the Death Egg Mark II Zone. He would also become a playable character in Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode Metal. That spotlights the events following Sonic CD in even more detail, adding to the lore surrounding this unique character. The classic era of Sonic the Hedgehog would be honoured once more with Sonic Mania in 2017, an amazing title that was designed to commemorate the 25th anniversary of Sonic, with a development team led by Christian Whitehead, consisting of himself and other passionate developers from Sonic fan games and the ROM hacking scene. The game that would be the highest rated Sonic game for 15 years would see Metal Sonic appear in the game as the second stage boss. This stage would once again see his classic Stardust Speedway Zone race recreated once more. But he would be fought against again at the end of Stardust Speedway Act 2 in an encounter that differs from Sonic CD. That same year he would also show up in Sonic Forces, a game that sees Sonic join a resistance force to stop Eggman, featuring a mix of classic side-scrolling gameplay, 3D gameplay and a mode featuring custom player-made characters so that gamers can bring their abysmal deviant art creations somewhat to life. Yeah. In the game, a Metal Sonic replica can be competed against, who is fought in the Redgate Bridge by Modern Sonic and the player-created character. In this fight, his Sonic CD arrival is referenced once again through this section's music, which is a remix of the Stardust Speedway theme. While there has not been a new Sonic game for a couple of years now, in 2018 Metal Sonic would appear as a spirit in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. But I would say it is almost guaranteed that Sonic's first true rival is bound to show up in more new games down the line. Looking back at these many, many appearances, it is easy to identify that despite Metal Sonic's many defeats at the hands of Sonic over the years, he will continue to never give up on his robotic desire to beat the blue blur once and for all. Metal Sonic was programmed to destroy Sonic and will always continue to return to attempting to do so. And that, my friend, is the terrifying truth behind this character. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was the story of Metal Sonic. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of today's video. Take a deep dive look at one particular character from the Sonic franchise. If you enjoyed this one, what other Sonic characters would you like to see me give the same treatment to? I would be keen to hear your thoughts. If you want to chat about Sonic the Hedgehog or anything video game related for that matter, I would love it if you could follow me on Twitch so that we can have a chat on Tuesdays or Saturdays at 8pm GMT. Also, why not join my Discord where we chat about gaming daily by clicking the link in the pinned comments. I'd love to get to know more of you. Videos like this are made possible in part due to the fine people who support my work on Patreon, allowing me to work on content like this full time. So special thank yous go out to Sebastian Velez, Murder of Crows, Carl Johnson, Heo Paula Lopez, Nostalgia Collector, Ben Harra Dying, Corey I. Mars Sr., Capcom vs SNK, BXL Gotham, Rowan Dinched, Evan Border, Philip Namp, Azra Arkai, Keith Ferguson, Jock Quinn Morella, Michael Cullix, Ago, Jordan Duran, Angel Light 35, Ian Boyle, Nick Daniels, Princess Zana, Daniel Daly, Computer Man, House of the Ted, Gary Pinkett, EC Professor, Kid Anime, Justin Wang, Aaron McNamara, Hermes Gonzalez, Intergraphication, Milky Man, Shovel, James Bishop, JB, Michael Hall, Wesley Zaghi, Fellatio, Langston Miller, Noob, Ryan Barry, Sarah Powell, Blaine McRenee, Marvin Aaron Liga, Chris Cool, TOG Driver, Adrian Hannington, Bernard NG, Richard Stu Stewart, Dan Van Dammit, Louis Viant, John Bates, David Bow, Chris Fisk. Michael Bruno, Rick67, Antonio Rodriguez, Craig Jenkins, Retroverse.com, Casey Wright, Synth Spaces, Zai, Andrew Bazanski, Alex Summers, Gunther Hendricks, and everybody else who backs what I do on the Patreon platform. You're very wonderful. Yeah. Cheerio.